so the, the more a little bit more about this i blew this up just so you know people can get a screenshot of course we're going to make the recording available to everyone that's registered for this call but as we as we look at this what you'll see is people so stretching people but far but not far enough you want to have reasonable but optimistic steps for people to move up and if you get them to move up too much they're going to regret it they're going to be too stressed they're going to fail at their job and and so how far you stretch them is important and that's why these vertical columns here are so important people cannot go from here to here in one year or two years or even five years potentially unless they're a real superstar they can go from here to here in one or two or three years but I would say on average, most people are going to need to spend five years in each of these vertical columns to become an expert. As we know, experts, you know, for thousands of years, we've had five-year apprenticeships of people, whether you're a horseshoer or a glassblower or a carpenter, you don't become an expert until you've got about 10,000 hours, which is five years full-time work at something. And young people and people without that experience tend to very much discount that. But it is a reality. And, and we know now it's the science behind neuroplasticity. Your mind is rewiring itself to do those things by reflex. And, and you're in the zone, as the sports people call it. Or, or muscle memory, and you're doing stuff automatically that you don't even have to think about naturally once you've got that 10,000 hours or five years experience. So very important to, to understand that learning model that comes from the book Blink with uh, Malcolm Gladwell, because that, that sort of maps into to what's happening here. Um, recommend that book very highly to everyone. It's a, it's a learning model that you'll use every day in evaluating and managing people. Um, skills needed, people skills, math skills. I have found people that don't have math skills cannot be managers. And there are some people that just can't do math. So I would never hire them as a manager because of, you know some of the required things of a manager are doing budgets and forethought and thinking in advance. Um, I had a brother-in-law who you know did general contractor work and it blew me away that his carpenter couldn't figure out the, the wood that I needed for tomorrow. He had to do that math. He had to have that forethought. And I guess that's why that person had, you know, had to be and would always be working for someone else because they didn't have enough forethought. And the statistics on that are, you know, something like, don't quote me on this, but I think only 40% of people have forethought and the ability to plan in the future. And, you know, I think it's an exercise and a practice that you learn by doing it, but a lot of people don't practice it and therefore they never learn it. But a, ma a manager needs to plan a minimum of a year in advance for a, for a budget and for thinking about promotions and developing people. Number eight, are, are they moving up one level? I already mentioned this. You can only promote someone one level to the left here from this to this, not from... Uh, not not from this to this, but only from this to this or or this level to this level. You have an almost guaranteed failure unless that person is a prodigy in, in any other situation. So that this is a great tool to say, is this person ready or when will this be per person be ready to move up? Have they been doing that job for three to five years minimum before they can move to the next level? of that uh, discipline in their business. And of course, if they're changing disciplines, they're becoming a manager for the first time. Now, what they're managing doesn't matter, whether it's operations or, or product development or marketing, because now they've got to take on management and leadership skills. And so they're sort of starting that whole process. And it doesn't mean they have to be a perfect expert to get the next promotion. But, you know, a couple, three years is sort of the minimum I would allow for anyone to you know, to, to be promoted from uh, the position they're in.